What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL, and welcome back to another NBA High Five video with your boy. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do so down below in the comment section. If you haven't dropped a like down below in the comment section, make sure you drop a like down below in the comment section, and make sure you comment anything in the comment section down below. Appreciate you guys for joining me as always. Today's slate is going to be a wild one because we have a ton of questionable information. Um, a lot of information. We've got the Charlotte team who, you know, Gordon Hayward just didn't play yesterday. Um, uh, you've got Devontae Graham already out. You've got a bunch, like a lot to look at over there because obviously guys like P.J. Washington, LaMelo gets a big bump in that situation. Rozier is going to see a bump. There's a lot of value there that we're going to be pretty much waiting on until like the last game of the night. And that's the part that sucks about it is it's the last part of the night and there's a lot of you know, a lot going on there. So I'm hoping we get lucky enough to get that information in time and we get it kind of early before all the games start and we kind of know what's going to happen. But if not, it's going to be a wild night. And especially if you join greenlightdfs.com, you guys know we are constantly looking for ways to improve even after the first game start. Um, so any time that we can possibly upgrade, we will. So we will. We announce uh, uh, when we do make updates, we announce it on Twitter uh, my Twitter is at Cam underscore ATL. Make sure you follow that if you join us at Greenlight DFS um, and so that you get those updates because making changes as injury information comes out, even after the first game start, is pivotal to success in DFS, okay? That is what has made us what we are. That is the most important thing. Like, you have to stay up on the information. So if you join us, make sure you stay ready for that, especially tonight. Because I can tell you right now, unless we get extremely lucky and get a lot of this information beforehand, we're going to be changing things all night long, okay? So let's get straight into it. Starting off at point guard, one of the guys that I really, really like today is Dame Lillard. Now, Dame's still without McCollum and all that, so he's still getting a sizable increase here, a, a sizable bump. Going against Charlotte, who just played last night, so they could have a little, you know, a little slowish legs. I wouldn't expect a blowout in this game, so that's always good as well. It's a solid matchup here for Dame. Um, anytime we get a plus matchup and in a situation where the game should stay competitive, Dame's always in play. And at 10-4, it remains that same thing. I think he has the upside of around 60. I have projected about 59.2. Uh, 59.3 if you want to round that up, but Dame Lillard is in a fantastic spot. I really like him as a spend-up today, as well as Luka Doncic, all right? So as of right now, there's a few values that I feel okay with, okay? As the day goes on, if we get even better value, I'm going to feel even more comfortable with it. Um, if value turns out to not be great as the day goes on, let's say one of our values doesn't get a start when we expect him to start, then balancing might be more of a route to take, you know what I mean? So Anyways, as of right now, there is a few values that I like, so I'm period wanting to pick my top overall guys on the slate, and that is Dame Lillard, that is Luka Doncic. Those are two of my favorite plays on this slate, period. So with the value that I feel okay with, I'm fine with that. At shooting guard, with John Wall doubtful. Now here's the deal with that too. That's something to keep an eye on, okay? Don't just take that it says he's doubtful and expect him to for sure miss. Here's the situation. Now I'm going to I'm going to go about it as if he misses because right now the information that we have at this moment of recording this is 10.56 Central, okay? At this moment, John Wall is doubtful for rest because he was scheduled to rest already, okay? Oladipo rested yesterday, uh, last yesterday's game, so Oladipo should be back this game, and most of the time they will rest John Wall in that situation. Now, here's the thing. Houston got the doors blown off of them yesterday so John Wall didn't play many minutes so there is a possibility that because John Wall didn't play many minutes that they just go ahead and play all of these guys today um, so if that happens I'm not gonna like Oladipo I don't want Oladipo at 7-7 if John Wall is active and playing okay so that's the situation once again I told you guys in the beginning of the video there is a lot today and it is going to be pivotal to stay on top of information and make quick like on on the ball uh, decisions today um, and it's going to come down to making the right one or the wrong one, you know, whether you cash or, or you, you lose. So Victor Oladipo is in a great spot if John Wall, in fact, does sit out, okay? John Wall did not look great yesterday. They got blown out. He might want to just take like a mental day, 
You know what I mean? So who knows? But as of right now, he's doubtful, so we're going to play it as if he's not going to play. And Victor Oladipo is a fantastic play, as well as guys like Eric Gordon, Sterling Brown will get a little bit of a bump, those guys, okay? Another guy with Houston that's a solid play I really, really like is going to be Justin Patton as a value. Um, Patton got the start yesterday, so I'm expecting him to get another start. He's a young dude. He's in a solid situation here matchup-wise against Cleveland. Um, I really like Patton. Um, he's only 3-2, so really, I mean, if he gets us like 16, we will be perfectly happy here. I really like Patton here. And, and as you can already see, okay, going down from a Lillard and Doncic and kind of balancing things out, could be a very contrarian way to go today. So in GPPs, I do highly recommend you don't play any of the values that we have unless it's like must play value that we get as the day goes on. Because it's not fantastic value that we have. Like Patton's not locked for a ton of minutes. He's, he's going to start, but he's not locked to hit value even. Um, this guy right here, this is another guy that I really like and I'm going to put into the high five that I could easily end up not wanting later. Dwayne Bacon. Dwayne Bacon at 3-7 is another starter in a good spot here, okay? Plain and simple, Dwayne Bacon is a starting player at 3-7, so he is a perfectly fine choice. But Dwayne Bacon has moments where he plays 29 minutes like his last game and gets 17, which will take a 17, that's fine, but he has up and down moments for sure. But at the end of the day, with him starting, at least expected to start here, I really like him at 3-7 as a value. So he's doable, but as the day goes on, if things, if, let's say Dwayne Bacon happens to not start or something like that, then, you know, it'll be, I believe Ennis is out, which is why he has been in the starting lineup. So pay attention to all those things. I believe Ennis is still out. So Dwayne Bacon is fantastic. I like him as a value option. But what I'm saying is the GPP, like contrarian, low owned route to go today might possibly be balancing your entire lineup and not taking any of these guys. And then hoping that these guys happen to bust. And then the spend ups that they're spending up on, like Lillards and Donchicks, have mediocre games. Now, in my opinion, the cash route that I'm feeling right now is spending up on a Dame and a Luka and um, taking the value of Bacon and Patton type of thing. So that's the high five. Damian Lillard, Victor Oladipo, Dwayne Bacon, Patton, and Luka Doncic is the high five. There are other spend up guys that I really, really like today. Like um, one that sticks out to me a lot is Jokic for GPPs. As you can see, I have him, pro uh, have him projected higher than everybody else in GPP because I love him in GPP because he obviously has slate-breaking upside. Um, <clears throat> I'm predicting that his ownership will be lower than Lillard and Doncic and those guys and Harden. Um, so I really like him here. Chicago gives up a ton of fantasy points to centers. There's nobody in their right mind that can hang with him in Chicago. Wendell Carter has no chance versus Jokic, and they have to know that. Okay, so I really, really love this situation here for Jokic. I love him for GPPs, which is why I have him projected so high on the Greenlight Optimizer because the point of the Greenlight Optimizer is giving you upside. All right, takedown potential. That is the whole point. Let's go take a look over at FanDuel. Let me take out the last video we did. Let me take out our core that we had for FanDuel. All right, let's take a look over here. We have Patty Mills at 3-9. That's going to be a solid option because they're still missing a good bit of guys. Um, DeAndre Jordan at 4-7 against San Antonio is solid value. Um, a lot of centers is value popping up on the green light optimizer. Guys that look really good. If Lonnie Walker gets the start again, which I would expect him to, he at 4-2 against Brooklyn is a decent option. He's pretty, he's more expensive over on DraftKings. So let's go ahead and go Lonnie for now. Let's go Lonnie Walker. It depends though. If Keldon Johnson's back, Keldon Johnson will probably, you know what, for right now, let's not do that because Keldon might be back. So let's go ahead and go a different core. All right. I still do like Dwayne Bacon over here. At 3-7, he still gives you uh, the ability to spend up. Um, a guy like LaMelo Ball could really shine in this situation because they did just play yesterday, but he is a young kid. He gets the matchup against Portland, and if Hayward and those guys end up missing again, he's going to be fantastic. If Hayward and those guys even play at 7-9, LaMelo's been in play a lot of times over on FanDuel just off like his price right now. So I really love that spot for him. Um... I do like the Luka Doncic's of the world and stuff still over here. I like Dame slightly more, as you can see. He's 10-1 compared to 10-6. Uh, Kyrie Irving is interesting. San, San Antonio gives it up to point guards, so Kyrie's in a very good spot here to take advantage. Um, man, it's tough. There's so much questionable news right now that it's so hard to be able to, you know, even do 
these videos at this moment, not knowing for sure. But let me go ahead and put Dame in. I'll go ahead and put Dame in for now because at least I know he's missing McCollum and those guys. So he should be a solid play regardless. Let's check out centers and make a decision over here. <clears throat> uh, so considering that there's not a ton of value, I'm probably not going to put any other studs outside of Damian Lillard in this core. Uh, so let's look. You know what? Let's go ahead and just go Lonnie Walker. Pay attention to Lonnie Walker because if, if our boy plays, if Keldon Johnson plays, you're not going to want him. But if Keldon Johnson misses again and he's in the starting lineup, I love him against Brooklyn. All right, so Dame Lillard and then two couple values and Dwayne Bacon and Lonnie Walker, the core over on FanDuel. On Yahoo, let me take these guys up. Let's take a look at Yahoo. I have not looked at Yahoo at all yet. Um, so here we go. Values. We have Garrett Temple at 10, Shake Milton 10, Dylan Windler at 10, Malik Monk at 12. He's been taking a lot more shots. He's pretty damn cheap, especially if those guys end up missing. But that's something you're going to have to keep an eye on. I'm still on Bacon. He's once again min price um, over here at 10. Patty Mills is going to be interesting if those guys continue to miss. Um, Aminu's been getting more minutes. He's a solid value option. Justin Patton is 10 over here as well. Let's go ahead and look at who I have projected the highest and look at their prices. We have Dame at 47. So I'll take some Dame at 47 compared to Doncic at 53, Harden at 54, Jokic at 55. Um, let's see what else we have. Lamelo's 37 over here. Let's get one more core guy here. Let's go Victor Oladipo. Matter of fact, I want to go back to FanDuel and check Oladipo's price. So Dame Lillard, Oladipo, and Dwayne Bacon over on Yahoo to start it out. Um, let's check. What was Oladipo's price? 7-6 over here, which is perfectly fine, too. If we get definitive news, that wall will sit. I love Victor Oladipo over here as well. All right? But you need definitive news. You need to know that. All right? You need to pay attention to that. It's going to be a big deal. All right? Thank you guys for joining me as always. GreenlightDFS.com. Join the squad. Let's get it. Let's start this week off with a bang. Thank you guys for joining me. I'm out. Peace.